Okay, chess gym here. It's just going to go through the simple process of chess. Anybody who's starting learning chess, um, obviously doing the quick games, probably stay away from. And uh, practice long games so that you get your strategy, formulate your own strategy in your games, understanding uh, what are the key moves that you like doing. And yes, do read books and um, videos, that type of stuff, just to get an understanding of how other players have come to their conclusions in their moves. But at the end of the day, it's down to you how you then will operate within the game. So I'm pushing through onto this bishop here. He's opened up space around my king. So I'm a little bit squinchy now. I've gone, oops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to develop my pieces, hopefully, around my king. So that then I'm defending my king. Because my opponent now is going for the answer. He's now trying to put his pieces in place to actually put pressure on my king. So I'm going to bring the bishop here. His queen is a little bit condensed in that area. That gives me a bit of a chance to bring my bishop down here when it does get attacked. And then I can bring it into the corner here. Got to be mindful his pawn probably may push down onto this pawn here. Grabs, grabs, and then he's got the rook coming down here. So we may move that first. Or we may position our knight, or may bring our knight here to allow space for our queen to come here. I think that's a better option. I'm going to bring the knight around, protecting my king area, because the idea, yeah, like we said, is pushing now onto our bishop. So we can now bring our bishop here to bring it here. He doesn't have another... Oh, now, do we go for the exchange? It's tantalising. Shall we or shall we? If we take... He develops his knight for him. If we bring our bishop back here, gives him the power base of that diagonal. And if I bring my knight here, protecting my bishop and blocking my pawn, and I feel this pawn is going to be quite powerful. Time is running out now, so what I'm going to do now is just blast through my moves. So I'm going to allow him, the knight, to come through. I'm going to bring my queen here, because his queen's looking to come into this square with the force of this pawn pushing down is looking to do some massive disturbance I'm going to develop my knight just in the meantime now his knight's blocking his queen so I'm going to bring my queen just a little bit to here so that we can allow the f pawn to come up so I'm bringing the f pawn up probably push his pawn down onto our queen which is less dangerous than having the open space in front of our king so we could potentially push here because we want the F pawn to really be quite powerful or we could capture the pawn time is running down let me see which one do we want to go with I'm actually going to go with the F pawn we mentioned the F pawn earlier yep so now we can go with the knights let's grab here knight or bishop so he's oh he's not doing that uh, so if we grab the knight then the queen can put a check on the king if it works out that way so we just put a check on the king here and just grab the pawn here it's got the check on our queen so we'd have to take with our pawn because if we take with the knight the rook takes the pawn um, rook takes the yeah takes the pawn mm. Uh, time is definitely running out now. I'm on 20 seconds. There is no increment, but you can get the idea of what we're trying to do. So bring the rook through. 17 seconds left. Don't think there's much time to do much here. So we'll just bring this rook here, try and go for a back ranker or something. And it's not allowing us to do that. So I'll just go for his uh, bishop here. He's going to look to exchange the um, rooks off. Well, yeah, it's not, oh, he's not actually done that. So we'll go here. I thought he would have gone for a rook exchange type thing. We've got seven seconds, he's given us the back rank. But his bishop can go here and block. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. Let's go here with a check. And then check again. And then check me. Wow. That was definitely a good example there of... Um, just keeping it simple, keeping it real, um, no fancy dancy moves. 
and the key thing about all of that was the fact of understanding the answer to chess which was the opponent was basically looking to put pressure towards our king area so we did defensible moves towards our king area yeah to basically nullify the attack around their area and then take advantage of pressure towards their own king area look through the analysis of this one okay so in a nutshell i'll probably say that we were basically losing that's what my gut feeling was in the early part of the game but let's see what the evaluation shows so we castle so now i make the pawn move knowing full well i'm going to open up the space around my king but now understanding the fact of the answer i want to bring my pieces around my king to basically protect my king so they bring their queen through we put pressure on the big queen here doesn't like that bishop move but we felt okay with it. it wasn't anything major i didn't think they could do against it and we brought the knight back yep like i say didn't think we were going to be really winning in this sort of position and then we bring the bishop back here yep so again black is winning because they've got that pressure on the king area uh, we decided to capture time was definitely running out at this stage bringing the queen up to help support the king area so it's understanding that the answer isn't just about you putting pressure onto the king area it's it's not like it's not a bullying harassment thing it's a what it is is understanding how other people do it so then you you've got skills then to be able to defend against that so that's the understanding of the answer in chess uh, so they've moved the queen so i move my queen across here protecting my king but it doesn't like that and then we push the pawn up even further doesn't like that yeah so yeah like i said i didn't think we were winning but i felt we were trying to defend and our defensible moves based on this evaluation are not really good but it's for the opponent to see the advantages that the evaluation is showing here which obviously they didn't so we captured and then captured time was definitely running down here we were probably under what was it 26 seconds it's showing on here if that's correct uh, so we captured so simplification keeping it nice and simple we had to capture with the pawn because if we didn't the rook would come down so it's being able to think under pressure and the idea being about putting pressure on the king area so it's not about wasting moves yeah i mean like this um evaluations saying take this pawn here I, i'm thinking well i've got 15 seconds left i'm not taking a pawn i'd rather attack a higher piece get position to try and go for a back ranker um, my opponent could have got away quite easily you know like it's saying here just go for an exchange with the rook um, but they allowed us the back ranker because they went greedy munching and greedy munching grabbing a pawn um, at the end of a game you've got to think a bit careful and I'm glad the opponent didn't know the answer in the end game they looked like they knew it at the opening stage because of the position of the pieces that they were attempting to put in place but then as the game was going through the answer for them seemed to disappear so I believe that's how I'm sort of getting through most of my games where I've made a mistake um, in the early part of the game or even in the middle game or even maybe even in the end game um, where my opponent just misses out slightly on understanding what the answer is so I take up the I take the opportunity to grab that advantage the smallest of advantages to understand well the answer is to put pressure on the king or the king area especially at the end game yeah key squares key key pieces yeah all of those taking advantage of those just to really establish a strong answer helps you to fight back so like here then obviously this is a, a nice basic checkmate 